normally head up and head onto the beach just there of North Shore. Alrighty, where are we heading today? Today we're heading to Point Plama. It's just north of Port Macquarie by about 20 minutes. We were going to go up the beach but it's high tide this morning. And we got stuck last time. And we got stuck last time. <laughs> the beach is very soft at the moment. Um, with Christmas time there's a lot of traffic on it, it chops it up a lot. Yeah, so we're just going to go up to the campground and we'll swim for the day, have some lunch, and come on home. Yay! We'll do, a, do a little bit of footage of the bumpy track that you go up, which is just inside the beach. But yeah, I haven't been up there for quite a while now, so I don't know what condition it's in. But it's usually not too bad. Give it a whirl. Yep. There's another beach access there and there's actually some free camps along there um, right on the edge. Um, not sure how many sites there are but only one. oh only one yeah, yeah. Only one. and you can't book it you just got to rock up and see if it's available. And one of the nice things to do when you're on the track if someone else is coming is to pull over and give room. Just give them a little bit of room so they don't, you know, if they're worried about their car getting pinstripes on it and you don't really want to push them into the bush too far. It's usually not far that you've got to yeah. stop and wait for them. But anyway, just a, another little tip for when you're driving on roads like this, just try and keep your thumbs on the outside of the steering wheel. If you have them wrapped around in there and you hit a rock or something that's in a pothole, the steering wheel can come around and just Nah. Snap, snap your finger and you know damage your thumb in some way but yeah I just drive with my thumbs on the outside when I'm driving on roads like this so the next part we've come to is quite oh well, it's a little bit sandy soft sandy so we've just rocked it into full high full high just to um, get us through and Andrew's decided what's the next project on the car next project on the car is a lift kit yeah, just a two inch lift. We're going to do more touring than we are serious four wheel driving, but just to get us up out of the sand or on the beach because the rangers haven't got a real lot of ground clearance. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just been pricing a few of them at the moment. So, Andy's just pointed out this property here is called Broken Bit. Do you know why? No, I don't know no. why, but it's actually the only property up here along this road. Yeah right. So you can see this mid section is actually not too bad. Like the beginning there was quite big holes but um yeah this part's not not so bad at all. But in regards to camping up here I must say um it would only be like rooftop or a four-wheel drive um small camper that would get up here yeah yeah up this road uh, in particular yeah, the road is now it's a bit overgrown at the moment yeah the national parks or council whoever maintains it occasionally they do come through and slash it all back and knock it back to a meter or so off the track but yeah, that, that only gets done every five or so years this is something that andy has talked about for so long that on tracks like this they should leave something like that that people can tow along one way and sort of level out the, the road and then leave it at the other end once you get there and then you know somebody else that can do it the other way when they come through it'd be really cool so this here is where you come off north shore become the northern end up from port macquarie it's the beach exit and entrance for the beach So here we are, Point Plumber Campground. Oh, campground's full. <laughs> we tried to get in before Christmas time, about two months before, and it was booked out every weekend right up until Christmas time. It is a very popular spot for local Kempsey and Port Macquarie people. So it's a national park, so it, um, booking online through National Parks New South Wales. And there's 
an allocated number of sites, but at the moment there's not site numbers. You just find a park and rock yep. up. But there was talk that they are going to change that and have allocated sites. There is nice amenities here, flushing toilets, showers. Yeah. They're only cold showers there. You have to bring your own hot water if you want a hot shower. They got bin facilities, small takeaway here. You can get a bit of bait for the fish hose if they need fish and gear. And it's no power and no water. Beach, and this is one of my favorite parts of this drive. It's so pretty. You can just 